Hey guys, welcome to Youth. Uh, we are, this is week two of our pause series. It is in build up to Carbon Copy Conference. Carbon Copy Conference is taking place on the 16th and 17th of this month, October. And we are having in-person meetings. So we want you guys to join us for that. It's going to be amazing. Summer camp is also coming up in December. So at the end of this year, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, we're doing something completely different, but I promise you it's going to be meaningful. So we want to see you guys at CCC. We want to see you guys at summer camp as well. And also you can join us for youth in person. Be sure to book. And here's a really cool thing is this week, what you guys can do is actually send us a message on WhatsApp if you want to book. Uh, so just send us a message to this number, uh, letting us know you want to book. Let us know who you want to bring with you. And uh, we'll take care of that and we can't wait to see you guys. So without further ado, today we're doing part two of our poor series. And today what I'm doing is I'm doing an interview. I'm going to give these guys a quick opportunity to introduce themselves. Over to you guys. Uh, hey there guys, my name is Amu. I am 15. I'm in the worship team and I'm a rugby player. So yeah, that's me. Hello, uh, my name is David. I'm quite tall <laughs> and I'm in the worship <laughs> team. So. Well, shout out to uh, David and Amo, the rugby player. So, well, gents, let's tackle this subject head on. Let's go straight into it. <laughs> so we're doing this series. It's called Pause. It really is It's the theme for conference this year. And I want to give you guys the reference scripture for this. It comes from Psalm 46, verse 10. And I'll also read verse 11. It says, surrender your anxiety. Be silent and stop your striving and you will see that I am God. I am the God above all the nations and I will be exalted throughout the whole earth. Here he stands, the commander, the mighty Lord of angels' armies is on our side. The God of Jacob fights for us. Pause in his presence. Now I want to ask you guys one question off the bat immediately. Um, what do you guys think about the series currently? Like, wh what are your thoughts about this new series that we're doing? I think this is perfect timing. Like, the people behind this series, I think you guys um, had it right on. Like, with the whole coronavirus thing, I think you guys did it with perfect timing. So, yeah, that was good. Shout out to the guys at the back there doing this. <laughs> I think this series is very, very valuable. Mm. And especially in a time where we're trying to catch up after the lockdown. Mm. We just want to like catch up and be on time with social media and everything. And that means that there's a lot of things to be paused. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this series is actually valuable and helpful. Yeah. Staying with you, David, I want to ask you a question. I want to be bold enough to ask this question. Um, what areas in your life, if you're willing, any areas that you're willing to share, do you find difficult to press pause in, to be still and, and you know, press pause? Okay, currently I don't share, <laughs> but um, social media, yeah. social media is going to be like the one at the top of the list. Um, there's a lot of things that distract you on social media, yeah. and I just think that it's a time waster, majority mm. of the time. Yeah. So I think I need to press pause on that one. Okay. So yeah. Good one. What about you, Amo? I was going to say the same thing, social yeah. media as well, but not only that, with our social life as well with um, contact, um, contacting people, mm. but like um, in person. I think our friendship circles, um, not, not only that, the people we hang around with, yeah. um, I think that's something that I need to pause on a that's lot, quite, so yeah. That's quite a profound one. Now, I, I wanna go back to Psalm uh, 46 there, and verse 10, he says, surrender your anxiety. What an what a interesting choice of words. Surrender your anxieties, without being too presumptuous here. Um, are there any anxieties in and amongst young people? You guys are young, so, so yeah. I'm not saying you speak for all young people, but certainly you have a good idea. Uh, are there any anxieties among young people that you think we need to surrender? I think our love life. I think we need to surrender our love life. Yeah, that's something big that we need to surrender. Now I have to ask why. Because I, I know there's a lot of people watching this who are going, uh-uh, you can surrender yours. Wh what? If you have one, but uh, <laughs> sure. I'm not surrendering wow. anything. So, so why? I mean, that's a, that's a big statement. Um, I think not, because we're not ready, right? Mm. Because um, we're still young and um, we're only doing this um, 
for acceptance from people. So mm. I think um, people are in relationships nowadays to get accepted from people and to be um, to fit in in um, groups, not because they're actually into the person, not because they love the person or anything like that, but to fit in. I think that's something that people need to um, surrender. To put, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's key, man. That's really powerful. And I guess there are a lot of anxieties in relationships. We're yeah. seeing this. Uh, is there anything you think, David, um, that young people, anx any anxieties that you see that you think young people should surrender or certainly consider surrender? Um, okay. So, first of all, young people are very, like, curious and really value the opinions of other people, especially their peers. So, that's one thing that is very, very, like, detrimental. So I think that one thing that we should uh, press pause on is how we portray ourselves and the image we like to portray to our, our peers and all of that. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing that we should press pause on. And, and I have to ask this as well, why? Okay, first of all, it's also a time waster. Yeah. We look at social media and we see these perfect lifestyles yeah. and these perfect lives and everything. And we want to portray that in our daily world in like our daily lifestyle. Mm. And because of that, since we are not able to live up to these standards, yeah. then we become very, like, how can I say, very content with other people's opinions. Yeah. Mm. So what other people think of us has a big impact on our lives, yeah. Yeah. of which I think is clearly not right. Yeah. So yeah. we need to press pause on that one. Yeah. Man, that's a, that's a very, uh, very, very profound thought. In fact, both of what you guys have shared is so profound. And um, I'm, a, I'm a guy that believes that you always have to give people practical steps, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, the other thing, and I think that's very um, to the point, it's direct. But here's, here's my question to that, my, my follow-up question to that is this. It's, it's one thing to say to somebody, hey, man, you need to press pause in, in your social media life. You need to press pause in the way in which you take in how people view you or your relationships, etc. But to be honest, it's easier said than done. I don't think uh, people are caught up or distracted just because they want to. Clearly, it's a problem. And it's obviously not something you can just get over like overnight. So if you had a, person, a young person's attention, which you do right now, and you could help them by practicalizing this thing, making it into, I mean, where do they begin? What's their first step? What advice would you give them? So first of all, understand what really is important mm. and what is a distraction. Yeah. And then secondly, it's not going to be easy to give up the distraction. So Ooh. you need to know when to seek help. Yeah. And it doesn't matter in which form the health comes in. Yeah. It may come in, in a friend, in the form of you, or in the form of a leader. Yeah. But as long as you seek help, because yeah. majority of the time people can't do it alone. Yeah. So I think that's very vital. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, first understand what is a distraction and what is really important, and then seek help. Because yeah. not everything that is happening in your life right now is important and builds you. Sheesh. So... Yeah, yeah, that's one. Yeah, I, l I love what you said that you can't do it alone. Yeah. Um, what, what encouragement would you give a person? Like, what would be their first step? Where do they start? Um, first of all, I think it's like a step process, mm. right? So um, you need to find out the, uh, the problem. Mm. Then once you find out the problem, I think you need to realize that you need to speak to someone, yeah. right? And that someone could be a leader or a friend, right? Yeah. Um, but I, I prefer um, that we speak to a friend first and then that person. Um, that, that we're comfortable with, right? Yeah. A friend that we're comfortable with. Yeah. Then after that, um, they will help us um, solve those problems. Yeah. So I think it's find the problem, find a friend, then solve the problem with the friend. And you can't do it alone. Yeah. So I think just be with someone the whole yeah. time. It's powerful. And I think the, the one common theme that's coming across for me here is uh, the idea of relationship. It's, yeah. I mean, it's one thing to... This is not just about fixing problems, by the way. Uh, pressing pause is not about stopping your problems. It's so much deeper than that. It's, it, I mean, in the, in, the, in the portion of scripture, it says, be silent, stop your striving, and you will see that I'm God. How profound is that? It actually shows us that a lack of stillness 
and a life lived striving can even distract you from seeing God in your life, you know? And it's true. If you think about it, sometimes you're so busy chasing somebody that you want to be in a relationship with. You stop seeing the things that God is is doing in your life. You stop seeing certain beautiful things. You stop seeing um, the beauty of family. You stop caring about other people. You know what I mean? Um, Sometimes you fall in love with somebody and you're like, "Ah, I don't want to go to church and serve anymore. I'm taking my Sunday. It's my Sunday now. I'm taking my bay out. You know what I mean? Um, Now I want to read something for you guys um, because... Obviously, look, it's, it's about more than just social media. It's about more than just relationships. I think there are so many areas that people have to press pause in. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I think about my peers, if I think about myself, we're talking about our financial lives. We're talking about the way in which we treat our family. There's so many areas that I believe have brought about anxieties in our yeah. lives. But we have to get to a place where we press pause. And so I think for anybody that's watching this, you can apply it as you see fit. You know which areas um, you find anxieties in your life. And I want to share a a story from the Bible where it's one of the best examples I see of somebody pressing pause. And I think there's so much we could learn from this. Now it comes from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 11 to 13. You all know King David. And uh, I always say this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I always say this, that um, most people forget that David wasn't a king all along. He actually had to become a king. And um, this is the moment where he gets anointed. And look at this. It says, then Samuel asked, are, are these all the sons you have? Speaking to David's father, Jesse. They're still the youngest, Jesse replied. But he's out in the fields watching the sheep and goats. So he was watching sheep and, and my kind, the goats. Um, <laughs> send for him send for him at once, Samuel said. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent for him. He was dark and handsome with beautiful eyes. Are they talking about They're me? Talking about what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he was, he, whoa. I didn't know I was in the Bible. Anyway, he was dark and handsome with beautiful eyes eyes and the lord said this is the one anoint him so as david stood there amongst his brothers samuel took the flask of olive oil he had brought and anointed david with the oil and the spirit of the lord came powerfully upon david from that day on but gents this is the part that i like it says then samuel returned to rama could have said anything Could have said, Samuel took David and they both left. Could have said, Samuel put David on the chariot and took him to the palace. It doesn't say that. It said, Samuel went back or he returned to Ramah. Which means David had to go back to his normal life. And I think that's one of the things that can cause anxieties in, 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 in our lives is that to be honest, you know, God has anointed us for certain things. God has called us for certain things or, or we're hopeful for certain things in our lives. But the most difficult thing sometimes is to press pause when you've been told you're a king, to go back to the field with animals and praise God anyway, to be still and to know that he is God. I want you to to just know this, that God is in control. And because he's in control, it all works out. Be still and know. Pause. Press pause. If you don't know how to do it, reach out to a leader. Reach out to a friend. Like Amos said, maybe that's where you start, reaching out to a friend. Uh, come to youth, come to CCC, come to summer camp. That might be where you find your breakthrough. And um, so I'm going to pray right now. I think um, pausing starts off by stopping and realizing we need to rely on Jesus. And I think there's somebody who's watching this who needs to start a relationship with Jesus. The three of us are going to pray a prayer. Pray after me and then we're good. Lord Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We thank you so much for loving us. We thank you that um, you've seen us, you've loved us, just like David when he was out in the field by himself. And so right now, I just pray you would come into my heart, lead me, guide me, help me to pause, help me to be still and to know that you are God and to let you have control. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. It's been a blast. Um, See you guys again next week. And next week is conference. Yeah. Cheers.